as if Inktober wasn't hard enough to do. Now I'm doing November, which is fun because I love color. But how do you do back to back month long art challenges? You add another month. Guess what, guys? September is, in fact, sketch timber where you sketch something every single day in the month of September, which I have already missed a few days. But I think that these three art challenges are the perfect trifecta of art challenges. The boom, boom, boom. Sketch timber, Inktober, November. But before I tell you my reasons why I think that these three month long challenges are perfect together. I want to give a big thank you and a shout out to today's sponsor for this video, which is Skillshare. Not only has Skillshare been a longtime supporter of this channel and sponsor of this video, their community is so wonderfully friendly and encouraging. They have sewing classes, they have bookbinding classes, they have writing classes, they have cooking classes, all the things. With Inktober right around the corner, they have a lot of different classes out there that'll help you get your ink on. One that I would recommend is improving your ink drawings with hatching techniques. Or if you like drawing flowers, there's a great one about pen and inks for florals. Or this one on how to get five different really cool effects with your ink drawings. The great thing is with a premium membership, you get access to all of these classes to watch at your own pace. So if you wake up at three in the morning and you're like, I can't sleep, it's time to learn. And a premium membership works out to be less than $10 a month. But if you are like me, you like to check things out first if they're new to see if you like it before you actually have to pay for something. I want to make sure that it's worth the money I'm investing in. So Skillshare has given me a code that will give you the first two months for free. Here is what sets Skillshare apart is their community platform where you can take and post pictures or even video clips of you working on your piece. You can choose to post this either publicly to the whole class, or if you're a little nervous, you can just post it directly to the instructor of the course. So you can choose either way. But make sure that you check out the class gallery because you get to see everyone's pieces and takes and it's fun to see how different they all look. I'll leave a link in the description box below with the code where you can get your first two months for free if you've never tried Skillshare before. If you guys hear some sort of humming in the background, it's because my neighbors are, are bulldozing earth. Maybe you guys have already guessed why I think these three challenges work so great together. But if you haven't, let me take you through my thought process. When I create a piece, I generally do a thumbnail sketch, then tighten in the lines whether I ink it in or not before I add color. The three challenges. Not that I have free time or anything. I'm actually the busiest I have been in a long time. I'm working on my comic. I'm, I, in fact, I'm having the grand opening of my comic. I'm premiering out, premiered out the first 10 pages. So it's been a hectic schedule. I still love doing Inktober and I love coloring with Huevember. Instead of trying to do two separate drawing ideas for these months, I decided to combine the two. Last year I sketched, pre-sketched out some drawing designs and then made a coloring pack. And this year I decided to combine the, the, the preparing the coloring pages into Inktober. That would be the inking part. Um, and to get kind of a jump ahead of things so I wasn't having to come up with the sketch, with the, the ideas right at that moment, I decided to pre-sketch them out in September. I did not know that there was such a thing as Sketchtober. No, Sketchtember. But after posting like one or two of my sketches, someone commented back and said, hey, it looks like you're doing sketch number. And so I researched it and yes, there is this a thing. Definitely not as popular as October or even November. People ask me all the time, what are the different challenges each month? And it seems like every time I turn around, there's a new challenge. Like there's like three or four different challenges in the month of October. I, I'm, I, I love them all. It's, it's getting to the point now that I'm having to pick and choose which ones I'm really focusing on because I mean, there's February that I do in Mermaid and then I did, I did one picture for Junicorn. I did some stickers for that, but there's so many, so many. If you guys know of any others, put them down in the comment section. Let's see if we can gather and accumulate all of the monthly art prompts that there are out there. Put them down there. And if you're looking for a fun art prompt, you might find a new one in the comment section. I wanted 
this project to centralize around a theme. So I took the colors in Huvember because it was really going to play a part in the finished product because with Huvember, while you can use other colors, you want to pick what the, the, the main color to be the overlay feature that, that's focused on it. And I decided that I wanted each day to be themed off of a fairy tale, not just like Disney or anything like that. It could be my own interpretation of these fairy tales. It could be really popular fairy tales or fairy tales that people haven't heard of. After talking to some people, I actually decided to open it up to any literature. So, because people were asking, well, can I do a Wizard of Oz piece or Peter Pan? Well, Peter Pan, I guess, is kind of a fairy tale. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm opening it up to anything. Now this is just what I'm doing. You, of course you are free to do whatever you want, but this is a pretty fun idea because picking a fairy tale theme that matches a color is is kind of a fun challenge in its own. To prepare myself for November and Inktober, I will ink them in. And to prepare myself in Inktober, I'm sketching them out. So this is kind of the, the planning process. I'm not working on getting a ton of detail or getting the final piece, you know, like finalized. Um, I'll work on that more in, in Inktober. But I'm just trying to get a theme, an idea that character and the color matched up. As I'm doing this, there are some that are really easy, like um, I've done Rapunzel and I'm going to use that very early on, probably one of the like the first or the second um, one because I want her golden hair to kind of feature into that. I'm doing, I've done Goldilocks and the Three Bears um, because of Goldilocks I can also put that into the golden colors. And then, then there's some that I have ideas that I'm not exactly certain where they're going to fit so I'm just sketching them out and then like making a puzzle I will just put these pieces in where they fit. So I have the, the little match girl. I love that story. It's so sad, but I love that one. I have the lady in the lake, which I actually did a piece based on the lady, in the, la the lady of the lake for a YouTube artist collective. Um, I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this video if you want to check it out. I have a version of the little mermaid that's based off more of the original Hans Christian Andersen story where doesn't end so happy. I have a, a version, is it Rumpelstiltskin? Yeah, which I love her face in the Rumpelstiltskin. She's just not at all pleased. And I'll talk more about these. I'm sure I will give you guys more information about these pieces as, as it progresses because I'm gonna be working on this month and next month and the third month. And then I have a young Queen of Hearts before she became kind of crazy. And I always have a place for the Queen of Hearts in my heart because uh, she's just wonderfully wicked. What's nice about this is because I'm just getting the sketches done, there's really little pressure. I can do the sketches even on you know, scratch a piece of paper or I like to draw on my iPad. I did a lot of them while I was visiting my parents this weekend. The only thing that I'm changing with Inktober that might upset some people, but this is where you have to make these challenges work for you. Most likely going to do the majority if not all of these inked digitally and I'd like to offer them as coloring pages to you and if I do it digitally you get a far superior quality of coloring page and two it's just going to be a lot easier for me. Make these challenges work for you. If I had to make it strictly ink this would not be something that I could do um, because I would have to do it in my studio whereas if it's digital I can on my tablet I can do it wherever I am. So for me to succeed at this challenge, I'm going to go ahead and pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do everything digital just because of the, the inking. I'm going to color traditionally. Plus I can, I can print my digital art out on like watercolor paper so I can do watercolor, I can do Copic marker, um, all the fun things. Getting ready for Inktober and November this year, it was to add another monthly challenge. And it's working for me. I'm super excited about these pieces. It's a balance between trying not to spend too much time on these and not do the rest of my work like my comic. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about this, this coloring pack and I'm excited to get to coloring. I mean I like the inking part but coloring definitely is my favorite. Um, if you're interested in following me along this adventure I will not be posting update videos about this process every single day on this channel but I will make a few videos probably in Inktober and in November to kind of show the process. But I, I do share a lot of the work on my Instagram page so I'll leave a link to my social media so that you can follow me there. Also don't forget to check out Skillshare and snag yourself those two free months of Skillshare. 
If you already are a part of Skillshare, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite course or classes are, because I'm always looking for new fun classes to watch or listen to while I'm doing my other work. So I would, I would like your guys' recommendations. Well, everyone, whether you have decided to jump on board the Inktober, Huevember, or even Sketchtember challenge wagon, don't let it be something that's going to beat you up, but have fun with that. If not, make sure to enjoy the ventures that other artists are partaking with. And as always, God bless you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, and we'll see you in the next art video. Bye-bye!